Hi everyone, it's Chris. Welcome to my parlour. And today is a special birthday pick a card for anyone who's having a birthday today. And you know who you are. And whoever is watching this and it's your birthday, please accept this congratulations from me and many happy returns. And even if it's not your birthday, you can still choose a card and see what message is in there for you as well because there could be a message for whomever watches this video today but if it is your birthday happy birthday and pick a card one two or three there's little pink owl the little i think it's an ostrich with a green cake and two little cats with a pink cake so you have pink, green or blue today to choose from, or the card, whichever feels more welcoming for you, you choose that one, or any combination you wish to choose from, because it's your personal reading virtually, and that's as personal as you're going to get in via YouTube. So I'm going to pick a few cards for you today, the energy around you at the moment, some possibilities for this birthday year, and also because it is your birthday, and it goes for one whole year from one birthday to the next and it celebrates who you are coming into the world and joining your energy with all those around us so it's a very special day the day that you're born so perhaps each year you might make a resolution people leave it usually to new years but some people like to make a resolution on their birthday so I'm also going to choose a verse for you from this book Nurturing Wisdom by Rosalind Sansbury and see perhaps what might be your resolution for this this your birthday year so I'm going to pour a cup of tea You choose the card that you want, one, two or three, the colour or the card or any combination thereof. Pop that out of the way so we can see the cards. You choose the one you want. Number one, if you chose the little wise owl for your birthday card and cake today, let's have a look and see what the energy is around you. Because you chose this one. Happy birthday to you. I shan't sing that for you. <laughs> and your little cake looks delicious, doesn't it? just for you. So the energy around you at the moment. I'm going to shuffle this deck here. It's my mighty big deck. <laughs> There's so many messages in here that just seem to be worthy of you. Let's have a look for number one please. What's happening for one number one on this their birthday and for the year ahead? What is the energy please? The energy is coming through as, oh, talking about birthdays, it's birth and rebirth. So there's definitely an opportunity that's making itself available to you to begin again, to start afresh. Whether or not um, you were successful the first time, I'm thinking if you have been trying to do something for a while, you have not been successful, it's time to... Um, Gather your resources, gather your strength, gather your determination, your motivation, your enthusiasm to start again. So if you've left something behind because it hasn't been working, this card is indicating that there's a time for you um, to begin again. It seems to come to a crossroad here. This tree is indicating a crossroad. Now, you can squeeze through this little gap here or you can leave yourself um, available to this open space 
where you know exactly where you're going to be headed and how you want to move forward with this. So it's it's a chance to start again, to um, renew your enthusiasm for this project or the situation, this person, whoever, um, whatever is coming through for you. So what are your possibilities in regards to this new opportunity or old re, an old opportunity reborn? A new opportunity or an old opportunity reborn, whatever is suitable for your circumstances. The universe says it's a, it's a message definitely of don't give up. Um, rearrange things if necessary. Um, add things, take away things. Um, but don't ever give up on this idea or this person or the situation because if you want it badly enough, the universe will provide the opportunity for you to move forward with it. This, op this birthday is opportunity, opportunity central um, for you. So the possibilities surrounding this situation that you're contemplating here, that we're contemplating here, is ooh, a sea change. It's definitely looking forward, isn't it? You may not yet see where you're headed, but you know where you want to be. You can see it in your mind's eye. It may not be physically in front of you, but this is an opportunity for you to see it in your mind's eye and see the potential of it. So it's definitely a potential there to move forward with it, whatever you're wanting at the moment. There could be a heart connection here or a, uh, just an emotional connection here with this um, whatever situation that we're facing here on your birthday there's emotional connection whether or not that means um, it means whatever it means to you does that make sense <laughs> so whatever you're wanting to connect with emotionally this is the year to do it this is the birthday to do it oh an unexpected introduction to someone or a situation, not necessarily a person, but it could be a situation, an event, a group. Um, but it's more of an individual that you haven't really considered. It hasn't been on your radar to meet this person, but someone's going to introduce you to someone very important this birthday. Hmm. And you will be making friends with this person, even though you haven't actually um, considered this person perhaps as a companion or someone that you get to know. Um, you may or may not um, have a long-term relationship with this person. It could be a short um, introduction and that's it. It's up to you what you want to do with it, whether or not you want to go further with it. Um, but the opportunity is there for however long you want it to be. So... The emphasis for you this month, what this year, what could you consider for yourself for this year? 263. Is that a good number for you? Okay, let's have a look. I'm going to bring it back here. Okay, every time, I'm going to bring it back here so I can read. Every time you state I have to or I should, in effect you are giving away, giving your power away. This is not this not only gives you away your power, you also put the onus on situations and onto others as you are refuting your own responsibility. Mm. By implying there is no choice, when in truth you made a choice. Claim your power. Claim responsibility. Whatever you choose is your responsibility. So this year, claim your power. Whatever happens, take responsibility for it, as we all need to do. As I always say to you, you can't change other people. You can't change the situation that you're facing. But you can adapt to it. You can make changes. You can make suggestions. But it's within your own power to take what it is that you need and add to it, take it away, whatever. So the situation is coming up, perhaps, that you will need to um, claim for your own. And whatever happens, go for it, I reckon. 
So there's definitely something coming through for you this year, your birthday year. How you react to it, what you do next. It's like this meeting this person. It's your choice how far you want to take this relationship, this connection. And um, where are you headed? Where are you headed this year? Somewhere very exciting, I'm sure, because there's certainly something new coming in for you. So don't ever give up on it. But claim responsibility for what you input into this. Does that make sense to you today on this your birthday? So hopefully that's helped you. Number one. two if you chose this little ostrich as your card in your little green cake which looks really delicious <laughs> yum it's your birthday what is happening for you what is the energy around you let's regroup those cards and find out the energy around you at the moment and your birthday Number two, please. The energy around number two. Truth. Truth is your energy for this, your birthday year. Truth. What does that mean? You've got a bridge going over a chasm here, or going over a riverbank, a river of some sort of stream. I'm thinking this is saying that the truth is the easier path to take. But once we start denying ourselves the truth, especially ourselves the truth, it's a struggle and we can get very wet. Um, but I'm, so I'm thinking the truth is the easiest path, the easiest option in any situation is always the truth. So if you're facing a situation or a person at the moment, speak your truth from your heart. Speak for the truth from the depths of your soul. This, I thought there was a little face, but it's not. It's um, four quarters here, making a hole. So the whole truth, nothing but the truth. <laughs> so help you, whoever. <laughs> um, so I think that the, the closest and the easiest path is always the truth. And I think that's what's coming through here. What is the truth within your soul, within your heart? situation perhaps the possibilities regarding this um, energy around you at the moment release release transformation truth transformation release I think when you tell the truth it releases that um, I've, I've got the image of scrunched shoulders so tight and just allowing the truth to come out it's like a release it's like oh a load has been lifted and I think that's what's coming through for you at the moment if you've been struggling with with something the only way through is to tell the truth about it and to to um 
to not deny that of yourself especially the keys are coming through here so there's definitely an opportunity being opened to you there's several keys here so there's several choices to make which one sits right with you which one is calling you which one is of your true self calling you to open that opportunity so there's definitely an opportunity coming through for you and the opportunity to release something Hmm, to the universe perhaps or to ask for something in whatever it is that you're desiring at the moment and you have an aha moment an aha moment finally the light goes ding <laughs> and you know exactly what it is that you're wanting you understand the truth of it it's coming through here as well because also too it's an idea all those little words inside the globe is an idea What is your idea? Let's have a look and see what this book has to share with you for your birthday. Number 26. <laughs> I think that might be a good number for you. I'm going to take it back here and read it for you. So, as you assist another on their journey... With your love and support, in effect, you are loving and supporting yourself. You are in an integral part of the whole. When you do something unkind to another, it is as if you are also wounding and damaging yourself. See the oneness and unity of all humanity and the planet we live on. Recognise that as you love yourself, you love others. As you love others, you love yourself. So I think being true to yourself, opening up to your truth is what um, prevails this, this year as your birthday year. So I hope that's helped you. Number two. Number three, <laughs> let's have a look at your choice today and see what might be coming through for you on your birthday year. First of all, we find the energy around you, what's happening, what the universe would like you to focus on, perhaps, and some possibilities, and then your quote. Number three, please. The energy. The energy, please. Your focus is instinct, the wolf instinct. We often talk about intuition a lot uh, when it comes to spiritual guidance and spiritual matters. We always talk about instinct and how deep inside of us we know exactly what, what's what and what we need to do. But the wolf is also... A very individual animal. They hunt and um, I think they hunt in packs but I think a wolf is very if the, if the wolf had a choice I'd say they would be a lone wolf. They wouldn't um, I think it's time for you to be a lone wolf time for you to think about what it is that you want yes you can still consider other people we always have to consider others it's it's a priority with us as a species to take care and to nurture others as well as ourselves <clears throat> but i think sometimes in this in this regard <clears throat> it's time for you to be a lone wolf <sighs> what do you want what do you know instinctively inside of your being that makes you happy 
and what you want to do with this your birthday year what do you want for the next 12 months what is your priority i think it's coming through here and you know deep inside what you really really want <laughs> we all know what we really really want um spice girls <laughs> but um do we act on it most of the time no because the wolf has its priorities but it also nurtures others and and it works as a pack but um i thinking what you really really want is what you really really want um is some time to reflect on what it is that's important to you this birthday year you instinctively know that i think we all know what we desire deep inside Maybe try to find that voice to express that is a little bit difficult at times. So perhaps that's another aspect that's coming through for you. Family time comes through here. We're just talking about doing what you want. Then we family issues come through here. But this is a happy connection to your family. Could be some celebration coming up. How do you feel about that? Do you want to participate? Is it okay for you to beg out of a family connection? It doesn't make you a bad person. We can't choose our family. We can't choose who we are related to. But we can choose whether or not we inter integrate with them, that we um, acknowledge them, acknowledge our part in the family. Perhaps that's what's coming through for you at the moment. How is your family dynamic? This is a happy family dynamic. One that some of us wish we could have. And some of us don't have. And some of us do. I don't know what your situation is with your family. But I think they might be coming into focus. Um, this your birthday year. What could that be? Why do you need to be a lone wolf? When this card comes up, hmm. Because there's definitely a change coming through here. In, an inevitable change. One that you really haven't got control over. You haven't got control over this. This is going to happen. It's been happening for a while. It could be to do with your family. It could be to do with how you interact. It could be some taking some time alone or moving away from family perhaps. There's definitely a time of change for you and one that is going to happen whether you want it to happen or not. It's going to be how you relate to it and how you um, clarify for yourself what it is that you want, what sets you apart perhaps. And it could be a relocation, a move. You're moving away from family, perhaps. Maybe it's going to be your first home. Maybe you're going to be doing some renovation. Um, whatever it is, it's going to be connected to you and how you feel about where you feel the most secure. And for no, normally for all of us, home is our security. Home is where we feel as though we're who we really want to be where we feel the safest to express ourselves, our individuality. So perhaps there's a, a new change of residence for you coming through here or an addition to the family, making room for that person coming into your life or rearranging your home to make room for somebody else or someone's moving out. Could be you, could be a family member coming in or going or moving. So there seems to be a move for you. Let's have a look and see if with this book and see your just a bit of thought. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is a, seems to be off. Don't know which one to give you because they both seem to be um, important uh, that I'm thinking. So I'm going to give you both number 166 plus 167. <laughs> Look at that, moving. <laughs> so I'm going to give you both. First this one, and then I'll read you this one, okay? So number 166, choose to move away. 
if you can, from situations or people that lower your vibration, make you feel not good enough, drained, guilty or unhappy. Ask yourself these questions. If I am unable to move away from the situation or person, what can I do to keep aligned with peace, love and harmony? What is my learning in this situation? Ask for help and guidance from Divine Spirit, Creator, the Angels or Spirit Guides for a solution to assist you to be in harmony, be peaceful and to be empowered. Know and trust that you are in control of you. This is where the instinct comes in, the lone wolf. <laughs> and number 167, every thought, every word, every action has an effect on the world around you. It impacts firstly on those directly receiving the thought, word or action. However, this energy ripples out beyond its beginning. The effect of your thinking, talking and action is radiated out on a global level as we are all interrelated. Key to experiencing the harmonious life you desire is to choose the thoughts, words and actions that reflect the essence of you. That essence is love. So that is yours for today. You can pause on that if you want to and reread that. I think it's very important at the moment because I'm thinking you're coming to a bit of a crossroad in a situation or about something and you're what's your instinct telling you to do. It could be related to family, but there's definitely an inevitable change, one that has to happen, one that needs to happen perhaps. Um, I don't know what that situation is, but it involves your home and involves where you feel as though you are secure and belong. So there could be a move, there could be addition, an addition or a subtraction from that family or renovations. So. And renovations stir up the energy of a home as well. So um, I would um, do a, a cleansing of your environment before, during and after especially afterwards, just to clear that energy and to make it yours again. So if there's been a disruption in your family, in disruption in your life at the moment, and you feel as though you want to move out and do something on your own, what is your instinct telling you? And that's what's coming through for you today. So hopefully that's helped you. Number three. So thank you everyone for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed your little cake and your message for today. hope it was helpful for you and some of it was a bit deep, deep wasn't it? A bit of a deep dive for some of us but I think every birthday stirs up that energy. Your The energy was stirred up the moment you were born and you had to um, learn, your energy had to uh, mingle and vibrate um, with others and try and become in harmony with the energy around you. And I think each birthday we hopefully celebrate the day that you were born. We celebrate the day that we emerged into this world and shared our energy with others. And I think sometimes our birthday does disrupt the energy for another year. And we have to learn how to mingle again and merge our energies with others. And I think sometimes our birthdays do stir up that energy. So an energy clearing might help for some of us. Um, I'm going to have a bath on my birthday, which is tomorrow. Um, and I'll be doing a video on my birthday bath bomb. <laughs> so I hope you will join me for that. But I some think sometimes we need to clear our aura as well. So each birthday, I think... oh. Well, a cleansing of our body, of our um, aura, is very important. Now, I can't smudge because I'm allergic to smoke and my son is also allergic to smoke. So I have a bath to clear my aura. A shower is really good because we can clean ourselves and allow the water to drain out, leave our body and drain into the, into the earth to be recycled. And that sort of cleanses our aura. But if you can smudge... That's really excellent. Also to clapping into corners of your house, each room, even the loo, <laughs> clap in each corner. Or you can use a bell, you can use smoke, you can even 
bang saucepan lids together. So long as you agitate and um, vibrate the energy that gets stuck. And I think a birthday is the perfect time to do that. So if you want to do that, um, by all means, go right ahead. Because some of us have had some, um, some really interesting vibrations from this book. So um, to think about, especially for number one. I know we talked about that one, number one. But I think it's really important for you to understand your part in whatever it is that's happening for you at the moment. That's not lessening anything. It's not blaming anyone or anything, especially not you. But sometimes we misinterpret our power to change situations and sometimes when situations aren't going the way we want perhaps it's because somewhere along the line we are blocking ourselves we are blocking our own thought processes and not being able to see the potential of a situation and sometimes we say hey other people are uh, it's because of other people, it's because of the situation, but we think we don't we don't want to think about perhaps it's us that has um, blocked something or changed the situation from what we want it to be. So if this is your birthday, I think it's time for us to take our power back <laughs> and to know that our energy is mingling with others. We always will mingle with others. Sometimes it's um, it's a bit of a battle there because our energies don't merge and that's when we get agitated and we feel as though we're not getting our point across or we forget to take responsibility for what happens next and give it to other people as well. So it's time to take our power back, to take our choices back and to make this birthday year the best one possible for us. Does that make sense to everyone? <laughs> I hope so. So if it's your birthday today, congratulations. Many happy returns and I'm glad that you're here and I'm glad that we have made contact. Even if it's via the YouTube, we have made contact and I think that's a really important um, aspect to think about, that there are other people out there, whether or not we meet them physically, we connect. Our energies do merge even if it's across the wires um, or through the satellites. Um, we do have a connection and I think it's very important to analyse that connection sometimes and other times just take it for what it is and just be grateful that we do have someone out there who cares about us, someone that appreciates us, someone that can tell us the truth. Um, the truth came out for us today as well. New beginnings came out for us today as well. And um, instinctually we know what it is that we really need. And it's not always what we want. <laughs> it's not always what we want. We think we want something, but do we need it? That's another thing to think about. So thank you very much. And until next time, guys, so many blessings.